Now, you know, it ain't no motherfucking excuse for this shit. There's no excuse for this shit. How blatantly ignorant can you be? I haven't watched this video yet, family. I'm about to watch this video right now and react to it. But uh, Cardi B did a parody video, a skit, on some, I guess, some um, spinoff of Wild and Out. I don't know if Nick Cannon is involved or ex whoever's involved in writing the show and, and executive producing the show. We got them hold them ac accountable, including Cardi B, for 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 foretaking in this garbage ass skit. But uh, she did a skit playing Coretta Scott King. What in the world you think, Cardi B? You trying to make this woman black? You know that that, that it, it 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 don't make no damn sense. It's just ignorance all around. You know, it's just complete ignorance all around. I don't consider, no, listen, Cardi B is so-called Hispanic, all right? Now, I'm not going to get too technical in terms of how much black she has, but she considers herself a Latino, Hispanic, but as far as a black woman like Coretta Scott King, Absolutely not. She's not no goddamn Coretta Scott King. Okay. She's not. It's just, this is a, a complete travesty and embarrassment for everybody involved, including the writers of the show, the executive producers, the handlers of Cardi B, all her writers, everybody involved takes a huge L and a donkey of the century, not the day donkey of the goddamn century for allowing this travesty to happen. I understand that she did some kind of apology, could care less. The damage was done. You knew what you was doing. Again, this, this ignorance is no excuse. It's 2018. Information is at your fingertips. You trying to do a parody skit of, of Coretta Scott King, the wife of Martin Luther King Jr. Regardless of <laughs> A parody of Coretta Scott King. Who in the world does that? Like Coretta Scott King out of all people? Really? So let me get, uh, let me play this little video, man, and, and react to this shit. I ain't even see the video. Let's see what's popping with this thing real quick. It's all right, let me just mute this damn commercial. This is raw and uncut, no editing family. I ain't doing no goddamn editing. I'm gonna just play this damn video. You know what I'm saying? And react to it. See what this shit's about. That bitch look nothing like no goddamn Coretta Scott King. And why are they playing this whack ass song, man? This ain't this ain't no motherfucking uh white chicks. I don't understand that at all this rally because nothing can go wrong for wife of jesse jackson so happy that i could get you ladies housewives here so talk about this movement Finally. yes we really have to get the women together because you know these men cannot progress without us we have to be the backbone now i don't know why none of these hoes are wow. up in here matter of fact i don't even know why i'm here well, I think I should be the leader of this group. You know, my husband have marched in every state and have fought so we can use this the dumb same bitch, party. man. And well, get the fuck out of here. Is a hoe. All these husbands want to sleep with my husband, but it's all right because I know he marches home to me. Oh, and Coretta, she thinks she's untouchable, honey. Let me tell you something about Coretta. Everybody done had a piece of Martin. Wait, so I will show you what violence does. I will show you. Okay. Well, I want you to show. Oh. Hell no. Like, I'm sorry. I thought you guys were fighting for equal rights, and like, I'm pretty this sure shit me is so fucking, fucking whack. King is like a perfect example of that. This shit's not funny. Not funny. Hey, let me tell you something. Whoever wrote this shit. They need to get donkey of the century. Like, you thought that putting... 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's it's just crazy. So they had the they had parodies of Coretta Scott King, um, Malcolm X's wife on there, and Jesse Jackson's wife, and then they had Iggy Azalea. I mean, this okay. You want to see? You want to? You want to talk about creativity? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about creativity and originality. All right. There's a show on on HBO. It's called um, Random Acts of Flyness. That's a dope ass show. It's like vignettes. It's real. It's some different shit, and it's very thought provoking. It's funny, thought provoking, provocative. It's some original content that's on HBO. Um, produced by, I forgot the dude's name off the top of my head. But I follow him on Instagram. But uh, the show is called Random Acts of Flyness. That's a dope ass show. That's some new content. Great writing. Um, just great s- small little. It's, it's basically small little vignettes of different um, episodes pertaining black society. But it's a great, great show all around. That's some next level shit. This right here is an abomination. Um, whoever wrote this shit. You should get the donkey of the century. Everybody involved, donkey of the goddamn century. All right. Um, it's no, it's no excuse for Cardi B to go on there and be okay with the shit playing Coretta Scott King. She has, she couldn't hold a goddamn uh, molecule, a molecule compared to the efforts of Coretta Scott King in terms of what she did in impact in impacting the civil rights movement. And all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not even a goddamn molecule. And, and comparing her, what I'm saying is comparing Cardi B to Coretta Scott King is like comparing a molecule to an elephant. All right. And, and, and basically what you contribute to black society. What has Cardi B done to contribute to black society besides getting impregnated by a black dude? What else? Not a goddamn thing. So, and, and, and to make this comparison, even though I think, you know, her album is dope. Um, I'm, not, I'm not talking about Cardi B. I'm talking about, um, <laughs> I'm not talking about Cardi B family. Uh, I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, I'm comparing, I'm comparing her because obviously, you know, they have competition, but Nicki Minaj wouldn't do some shit like this. She got a dope album, Nicki Minaj. Her downfall is her ego. Her ego is out of control, but she got a dope album. And also, I'm going to hold her to this. She still has not condemned H&M last year. She endorsed or she had a um, a commercial with H&M last year. And after that, Monkey in the Jungle shenanigan shit, she has not denounced H&M. So I'm still holding her accountable for that, Nicki Minaj. But nevertheless... Nicki Minaj um, has a dope album. Just her ego is her downfall. But I know for a fact she would never do some shit like this. She would never stoop this low and do a parody of Coretta Scott King. She always bigs up. She always shows support to, you know, black queens. You know, strong black women. She understands that. But she would never do some shit like this. Never. So th- this shows you how Cardi B and everybody involved in this abomination of a skit. This shows you what kind of frequency level they are vibrating from. They are vibrating from it's beyond shit. Okay, it's the bowels of hell they're vibrating from. That's what they're vibrating from. It's like some white people shit, bro. That's the type of shit that they're that they you know that they conjured up in this whack ass skit. It's some white people devilish shit, some soulless shit that only these got these goddamn Caucasoid chocolate devils can either okay or cosign for this goddamn skit, you know, to come to fruition. Straight up. So L's all around. Donkey of the century for everybody involved. 
And there's no excuse for Cardi B to not, you know, not to know that this is not a good look. And fuck her apology. You know, fuck her apology. I will always remember this goddamn skit. And this will always be an infamy in my eyes of Cardi B is doing this terrible abomination of, of Coretta Scott King, everybody involved, Jesse, you know, the, the people playing Jesse wife's uh, Jesse Jackson's wife and Malcolm X's wife. Everybody gets an L. Everybody gets a donkey of the century. Point blank and simple. This was a travesty. And this was some, this was some low down, dirty, chocolate diet enriched you know just devilish type of skit that only white people can come up with and get co-signed or actually white people can co-sign and and black people can come up with and to get the okay from their goddamn slave masters for doing some shit like this straight up so those are my thoughts about this skit family. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this whack ass skit from Cardi B. This is, this is change your perception of Cardi B and everybody involved. Um, you know, Cardi B is a caricature. Um, I think she's, I think she's funny and that's where it ends. As far as her talent, she's, she's, she's her talent is being funny and being ignorant. Other than that, she don't hold a she don't hold a candle compared to Nicki uh, Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? On a on a on a on a MC level, they're not in the same league. They're not in the same league, and she will go as far as her writers go. You know what I'm saying? That's why she did this goddamn skit. So, you mean to tell me she would have writers for her next album to write her some dumbass whatever the kind of whatever kind of song? My point is is that. She'll be okay with whatever kind of song that's written for her by her writers. Just like this dumbass skit that she did, which was written by writers for her to play. You know what I'm saying? She'll just do it and, and she'll just do anything. Anything without any kind of consequence. Just a goddamn zombie. Straight up. Those are my thoughts on about that, family. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out.